In this video, we're going to look at some quick examples of transforming trig graphs. Let's start off by drawing now the two trig graphs that you're most likely to see. Y is equal to cos x and Y is equal to sin x. You might also meet tan x, but these are the main two that you'll see. So if we have now Y is equal to cos x and Y is equal to sin x, for cos x now, we start just here. And this is going to be 0, 1. So we have a maximum now at 0, and that has a value of 1. We come down to 90 degrees, and then we'll come down to the minimum, and that's going to be at minus 1. So this now is cos x between 0 and 360 degrees. So this point right here is going to be minus 1. We have now 0 degrees. We have 90 degrees. We have 180 degrees. 270 degrees and 360 degrees. If we look at sine, we have a maximum of 1 and a minimum of minus 1. These graphs are simply transformations of one another by 90 degrees. So we'll come up to the maximum, we'll come down to the minimum, and then we'll come back up now to the x-axis. This is 0, we have now 90, we've got 180, we've got 270 and we've got 360. This is the maximum and that's going to be 1. This is the minimum which is minus 1. So the maximum occurs at 90 degrees, the minimum occurs at 270 degrees. Whereas with cos we have the maximum at 0 and 360 and the minimum at 180. So let's just recap basic graph transformations. We have translations, so if we just look at translations, we have two types of translation. We have the f of x plus a. This now is a translation in the y direction of a units. If it's on the outside, it affects the y coordinates. If we have now the f of x plus a, a is on the inside, and this gives us a translation of minus a, and that's going to be in the x direction. So if it's on the outside, we're now affecting the y-coordinates. If it's on the inside, we're affecting the x's. We also have now reflections. If we just quickly look at reflections, we have now minus f of x. And this now is a reflection in the x, so in x-axis. And then we have minus f of minus x, which is a reflection in the y-axis. So in this particular case, we can see this is on the outside, so it's going to affect the y-coordinates. On this one, it's going to be on the inside, so it affects now the x-coordinates. If we look at our last one, we have stretches. So if we now look at the two stretches, we have a f of x. So let's put a f of x. This is going to be now a scale factor stretch of a in the y-direction. If we have f of ax, this is going to be a scale factor stretch of 1 over a in the x direction. So this is brief revision. There are full videos on graph transformations if you check out the site. All we're doing is looking at a couple of examples. So if we were asked now to graph or sketch y is equal to 2 sine x. Let's look at this one here. This is a stretch now of the form a f of x. So in this particular case, every now coordinate here, the y coordinate, is going to be multiplied by 2. The x coordinates aren't changed. So all we'd have now is this point right here. So this is going to be 90, and then we're going to have 2. Instead of 1, it's going to be 2. We're multiplying the y coordinates by 2, and this one right here is going to be minus 2. So we would just put now the scale factor stretch of 2 on. We would come round like so. And then we would just simply come down to the bottom here and we would show that that is going to be minus 2 and then back up. So this now is going to be 2 and this is going to be minus 2. So we have 270 comma minus 2 and we have now 90 comma 2. So this is y is equal to 2 sine x. Let's look at another one. Let's say we were asked to now sketch y is equal to, and just putting it here, y is equal to cos x plus 1. So this now is of the form f of x plus a. So all I'm going to do is take this graph 
and now move it up by one unit. So if we consider what we're going to have, we're going to have this point just here. So I'm lifting this up by one. So we're going to have the point here, which is going to be zero comma two. If we consider this point, this is 90 naught, that will go now to 90 comma one. This is 180 comma minus one, we will lift that up by one unit. This is 270 comma zero, we will lift that up by one unit, so that will be 270 comma one. And then finally 360 comma one becomes now 360 comma two. So this is a translation and that is in the positive y direction. So we'll come down, the curve now will come down to the minimum like so, and then we'll come back up and it'll look something like so. So we can say now that this point is going to be zero comma two. We've got now 90 comma one instead of 90 comma zero. We've got 180 comma zero. We've got now 270 comma one, and we've got 360 comma two. So that now is a translation, and often in these types of questions, I just write to the examiner, to, uh, examiner translation, so translation, one unit in positive y direction. And then with this one, scale factor stretch, SF2 in y direction. So there are two quick examples of transforming trig graphs. As stated, the full learning videos can be found at the link here. These are just two quick worked examples.